Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tiana Mercedes here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail in PowerPoint. Yes, you heard me, PowerPoint. I normally use Photoshop, but I know you have to pay a monthly subscription for to use it. So this is just a free option to be honest. And I know everybody has PowerPoint on their computers or laptops, so it should be easy and straightforward. If you'd like me to make a more in-depth tutorial on how I make my thumbnails on photoshop then make sure you leave a like and comment down below and let me know but anyway let's get right into the video first you're going to want to open up powerpoint it'll come up like this just go to um new blank presentation and this should open up click on the line of the box and just press delete on both of these because you don't need them you can oh well, look they give you some backgrounds here to use look, design ideas but i'm not going to use those then you're going to want to go to google and find whatever picture you want to use as your background i'm just going to use this one you got it all right so and once you've got your background picture there you're going to want to get your picture that you want to use on there of yourself and the yeah the website that I use is called www.remove.bg and you just upload image from here. I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use this one. And then you put it in there. Wait a sec. And then it removes the background for you. And all you need to do is press download. If you want a HD version, you have to make an account, but you can only get one per thing or you to buy it but this should be fine so find that there and you just add it on like so and then we can have a look at the effects they got going on here look this one gives you a drop shadow you can see my amazon this one gives you a drop shadow so i think i like that because that's what i normally do on photoshop and then to add text you need to do is go to you could go to word art text box I've, i'm just gonna go to word art and just click the first one and then write whatever you want to write on there and i'll just do war zone and do you know when you because i want to write war zone gameplay but to make it easier because look at the, look at how big this gap is I'm, I'm just gonna do war zone and then do the font and everything how i want it so to download new fonts let me show you guys actually what you need to do is go to www.thefont.com and then choose whatever font you want from here so i'm just gonna download any random one because i've got the font i want to use so it should download like this show in folder okay yeah once you open it up you just click on click on the text thing and press install and then that should be there on everything so whatever font you want to use make sure you install the font they've got so many to pick from on that website the fonts that i normally go for for my thumbnails is burbank it's like the fortnite font and then you just make it as big as you want I want it even bigger than that so you can just literally type in i think i'll do 150. yep change the color of the text i'll just do red oh <clears throat> Control z to go back so that's that war zone if you want to add a border so if if, if you want to add a outline on your text just go to shape format and then text outline and then i'll do a black one you change the weight of it i'll leave it like that i think i want yeah like that yeah that looks good and then literally copy and paste that and then do the next word whatever next word you want to use just like that like this then if you want to add anything else onto here all you need to do is google whatever you want png so it has the clear background so 
you can like get some characters from the game you're playing add it on like this make that a bit bigger up bring this up no. bring that up look and then do you, if you can see faintly the red dotted line in the middle that's that means it's centered with the top text so that's a trick for you guys also i actually don't really like i don't want i don't want the outline to be yeah that looks better to me anyway yeah and then you could add text effects so you could add the shadows on the background or inner i actually quite like that Yeah, I like that, that could work. Hey. And what I also like to do, let me see if it has it. Picture format. Artistic effects, yeah. What I like to do is blur the background. Obviously not this much. On Photoshop is a bit better, but let me see if it has options. Yeah, look, then, then you on the side here you could choose how blurred you want it so i'm just gonna i'm gonna put that blurry i'll leave it on like four i'd say yeah that would do and yeah there's your thumbnail ready to upload it mm -hmm. it's not the best but if you don't have photoshop mm -hmm, i'll bring this to the front actually And then to select both of these, you just, no, not that, this, I don't want to select that. And then I want to, if, if you want to turn the text a bit like this, bring them, bring the size down a bit on them, I think. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Just go down a bit. Yeah, so if I was to upload this, I would upload this. And then that's your quick and easy thumbnail. I'm not, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be amazing because obviously it's only for, it's only PowerPoint. So if you want a proper in-depth tutorial on Photoshop, then make sure you let me know down below. But if you don't have Photoshop and you have PowerPoint, you can play around with the settings and stuff because I know you wouldn't even think that you can make it in PowerPoint. It's free, it's easy. And then to save it, what you need to do is go to save as this PC and then choose from this drop down menu, choose JPEG and then type whatever you want to type to name it and press save. You could just press just this one and then that will save. And you can see it here. You can upload it as your thumbnail. Nice and easy and quick. It won't take long. And especially once you mess around on the on PowerPoint, you should get the hang of it. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys want a fully in-depth video on how I make thumbnails on Photoshop, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys next time.